What is going on everyone? So today I'm gonna to show you how to build a super simple AI photo generator application using React. So this is a very basic React API project and I'm here on the site. I wanna show you really quick and it's called Generated Photos. I'll put a link somewhere in the bio, you can check it out. But pretty much this site is filled with AI generated photos only and they have a free API, which we'll go into later in. But pretty much you can see here it says generated photos are created from scratch by using their AI systems and you can use them worry free without copyright, etc. As long if it's for free, I believe you have to give them a attribution or give them credit, which is simply linking their site, but they do have paid plans as well. And I also you could buy the photos too, but let's just go here and let me just show you this site first. And then after that, I'll show you the little project we're going to make. All right. So right now here it is. And apparently they have 2.1 million photos. And these are pretty much generated with AI. And these look like these look like real people. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just take already existing features that all, all humans, I would say, have and combine them together. So I'm sure you might have someone that actually looks similar. But like, for instance, here we can go through and uh, like filter it out. So natural. Let me see what natural does. I don't even yeah, I don't even see a difference. Maybe my just computer's that way. But here we can let's do like um head pose. I don't care about that. Let's do gender here. Let's go all male and then we'll switch it to female and C first. So let's just go male. And these are all guys right here. And then let's just switch to female and let's see what happens here. And then you can see we have females loading up here. Now we can also go and let me just exit off this so so both and even age. Now I'm not sure what young adult that like exact age they define it as. I don't really know the difference in terms of this, but let's just say adult here, ethnicity. Um, let's just go through them all just to show you like what they have. So here, this is under the whites. Let's see, go for the black here. And that looks, well, some of them even look more like Asian too, but um, I guess that's just like depending on preference here let's see there's latino filter and then we can go through the last one which is asian and my computer is lagging right now but yeah you can see they have all kinds of filters here as well and let me just exit off this one and also they got eye color and uh hair color hair length etc so again you can go through here i haven't checked out the motion but um yeah, let's go with joy let's do that and yeah this and I mean, it kind of, some of the people look serious. I th did I click on Joel right? Yeah, I don't really see the difference. Some are smiling, some aren't. And for instance, if I were to click on like, let's say, like this guy looks pretty serious, but here you can click here and give them a thumbs up or thumbs down, essentially saying like, hey, this looks real, this doesn't look real. I mean, this picture looks pretty real to me. You can change the background color. And also um, you can download the photo as well. And they have like similar photos as here too. So this is like if you cared about this, like the photo part, then definitely you can check it out more. I just wanted to show you like a quick rundown through the actual photos they have. Now let me show you what we're gonna little make our little project with React. So here it is. Made a super simple app, super quick. But pretty much I'm connecting the API and then I click on new image. And then I'll essentially once I click on the button here, it'll generate a new photo. So let me make sure. I'm on here. All right. Okay, there we go. It's a little slow, but then I go here again, click on new image, and then give it a couple of seconds, and then we'll see what happens after this. Generates it there, and then generates it there. And it's still lagging right now, but you can see that it generates it in the photo, and then rinse and repeat and keep doing this on. So we're going to build a super simple site like this. And uh, let's go ahead and let me hop into my code editor so we can show you how I made this. All right, so here I am on my terminal. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a React app. So I'm just gonna type in MPX create React app and then I just call this uh, photo dash API AI and then press enter. And then that's gonna hurry up and load. And once it does, then I will see you once it's completed. All right, so now mine is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and CD into the file name I named it. So mine's photo-api-ai. Then I press enter. And if you have npm, it's going to say npm start, but I have yarn in, so that's what I would have to type in. But before we do that, I have VS Code as my code editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in code space dot. 
and that will automatically open up VS Code for me. If you don't have that setting, simply do a quick Google search, how to set it up, and then you can simply do that next time you have your terminal open. Now in my terminal, I'm gonna press Command J, and then I'm gonna go ahead and type in, let me get rid of this, yarn start. If you don't have yarn, type in NPM start. And then this should load up our React app just to make sure everything is working. Looks like I need to add this little error. So let me command C this. And I'm going to add this on my root file. So new file here. I'm going to say .env. If you don't have this error, then just ignore this and just wait until I have this finished. And then now I can just do the up arrow again. Press yarn start. And it should open up the React app. So I have one running already. So let me just press yes. All right, so perfect. Now we got everything good to go. All right, so now the first thing, let's go to the SRC. Click on setup test, hold shift, click on logo. Let's delete these three files here. And let's get rid of index.css and app.test.js. And then the app, we can just go here and just type in here and just erase this and say, what's up, boom, save it. And we need to get rid of the logo line here. Save that. Index.js, let's get uh, rid of these comments right here. Number five, the import service worker index.css, save that. And now we are good. Okay, so perfect, now it says this. All right, so now let's go back to, and I'm gonna go to the generated photos website. So again, I'll link that in the description, but simply all you need to do is create an account. So I'm already logged in, but just go ahead and it should say sign up. And then once you have an account, you'd simply just click on get API access or just go up here to API. So let me just click here. And then let's go ahead and just go to the dashboard. And now once you're on the dashboard, just click on this little tab, API dashboard. And with a free account, you only have 50 requests per the month. So this is just sort of like a little test API project, but if you were to actually utilize this, then you'd probably most likely have to upgrade. And then here you have your API key. So I'm probably gonna just block mine out since um, you shouldn't be sharing this because someone could end up using it and then just sending like a bunch of requests using your key. So obviously you will have yours here, but I'll most likely have it blocked out. But pretty much what we can do is actually, let me scroll down a little bit. And then here we see only per non commercial uses, image sizing, and then also we have down here the API reference. So pretty much this authorization right here this is the easiest way we can go ahead and actually get the API. So what we're gonna do is actually, let's copy this line of code here, Command C, and then at the end where it says key equals, this is where you put your API key, which is what we just saw above earlier. So let me go ahead and, let me go back to VS Code actually. Now I'm gonna do everything inside of Create React App, uh, the app.js file. So let me uh, go ahead, let me just hit the plus sign here. And we're gonna have to install Axios. So let's just go, if you have NPM, just do NPM install Axios like this. But I'm gonna do yarn add Axios because I have yarn, so yarn add Axios. And then also what I'm gonna need, I'm going to need a use state. So let me go to import React while that's loading and let's just say use state here. And then also under I wanna import Axios from Axios. Now under the function app, let's create our state. So I'm just gonna call this const image comma then set image and so that equal to use state of false or actually yeah we can actually leave that as um leave that as empty actually string and then here i want to create my handle change so basically i want this to put this on a button so that whenever i click on the uh, button it'll trigger this and then run the uh, api so let me say const handle change Set that equal to an arrow function. And then here we can write our API. I could do this with use effect and then just have it like out, outside by itself so that whenever you refresh the page that you could see a load. But let me just do it this way since we already have it here. I'm gonna say axios.get. In parentheses, we're gonna paste that API link that we just put. So that's actually me, command Z, put quotes and then paste it. And then what we need to do is get your API key. So pretty much here's my API key here. Then I'm gonna just copy, then I'll just go down here and copy and paste this into my code. All right, so obviously I wouldn't share this publicly, but for the example purposes, I just have mine there. And then I'm gonna scroll down and just show you guys how to access some of the data here. So let's actually go ahead and 
let me finish off the uh, code here. So let me say dot then, and then res, so response, and then arrow function, and then the curly braces here. Then I'm gonna say const URI set equal to res.data.faces. So I'm gonna show you here really quick. If I were to actually go and, let me just do this. Let me say console.log res.data. And then after that parentheses, let's just do dot catch so we can catch any errors and say error equals the error function console.log error.message. And then let's go ahead and let's just put this on a use effect actually. So let me just do um, here, let's go, let's erase a cons, cons handle change for now. Say use effects and then pass in a parentheses and then we can erase this here so it's like an arrow function there and then at the end let's put a parentheses here and let me just save this for now and now let me go to our react app say use effects not defined so let's actually go back up to the top let's just add this for now but then we'll take it off later so now if i go command shift c and check the console we have this little object data here and we can check that we have our actual data coming into us so we have the api key within here now if you want to do for instance let's see you can check the version, confidence, emotion, gender. So for instance, like gender here, I can go to the end of my API key, do the and symbol, and then do gender equals to female. And then I can simply save that. And we can go here. And now you can see we have our faces, and then ID, go in here. And then we have all this more all data right there. We got the actual images under here as well so let me actually let me do it on here so let's do res.data and let's do dot faces and i want to target this faces so if i go back up you can see let me close this one out not the urls so now we have the faces and then inside i want to target this first one right here this zero so in the actual zero positioning then i want to target the URLs. So this is actually targeting the image now. So now we have these URLs here and it's an array. You can see that. So I'm going to have to do the brackets and I want to target the, let's do the fourth one because the size is the 512. And then after that, I want to do 512. And then if I were to sit here and man save this, now you can see I actually get back an image. So this literal line here, right here, is saying to trigger this image. So if I were to click on this, now you can see we have a female because we put it in the actual API key, gender female, and we have this image right here. So now you can mess around with this, but I don't want to go too crazy because the more I refresh this, it essentially sends a request each time. And I only have like, I think like less than 30-ish left. But basically, if you want to add anything else to the end, you just do and whatever the API name says. So let's say like hair underscore color and then let's see equal to let's do gray so that is like clearly you can tell the difference go here let's click on this image and it's great all right so now it looks like everything's working fine so let me just exit off of these here all right so now what i want to do instead of console.logging it i actually want to display this so let's go ahead and go down here and then let's go ahead and do h1 and let's do ai photo generator underneath this i'm just gonna say curly braces and then let me close out this say image and so basically the and is returning if it's true if i want to turn an image with the src equals to image and then i want the alt just to equal um you know ai face doesn't really matter right now and then let's close this out and then outside the curly brace under here, I just want to include a button type equal to button. And then on click, I want that equal to a handle handle change. And then close it like this and then just say new image. So they're pretty much there. And then for the then, let's just go ahead and do um, const URI is equal to res.data dot faces 
of what we just had. So I want to target the first one. And then your else, I'm going to target the four. And then I want the size to be 512. And then underneath here, I'm going to say, if your eye is true, then I want to return. So and symbol. And then I'm going to say set image to the actual URI. And then let's go ahead and go back to the top. Change the use effect. So pretty much what you need to do is just erase this last parenthesis here, and then also this parenthesis, then get rid of use effect and just say const handle change to the equal to arrow function. And then pretty much I'll sew up here and then get rid of the use effect. And this is just a super basic way to show you how to do it. But pretty much now we can click on new image and then we have this right here. So now let's actually go and let's do it randomly because that's what we showed in the example. So let me see where is the um, order by right here. So this makes it random. So let's do um, let's take out all of the stuff you have right before your API key. And let's just say and order underscore by equal to random save it boom and then now when i hit new image it'll pretty much once you see once it refreshes now we got this one then another random image and then if you wanted to command b you could actually go to the actual css get rid of all this and i mean you can sit here and edit this if you want to but i'm just going to copy and paste mine because it's like super basic you can pause the screen here if you want to copy this but i mean it's just css doesn't change anything but in terms of the actual api we're pretty much done Super simple and super easy. And then definitely uh, remember not to actually share API keys publicly. So if you're going to push the GitHub, then definitely make sure you don't include that in the actual file. And then also, this is just showing, again, let me just click one more time to show you. And pretty much this completes the AI photo generator product. So feel free to refactor the code, make it even better, and do some other cool fancy stuff with this. But Aside from that, this pretty much completes the video for today. So if you did enjoy this, definitely go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.